What is poppin' YouTube? It's your grand from Nitty Echo, and we're here with a new video. So today's video is a is a video that is very much long overdue. I should have been gave you guys this video, and I actually was really just at a point where I felt like I didn't owe anybody an explanation as to the decisions that I made. But not even really that. I really felt like, like I, I sometimes get caught up in social media and I feel like, oh, because people want answers that I owe them answers or I have to be, like respond automatically. So I was trying to like shy away from that and get out of that. So that's really what I've been working on. Well, one of the things I've been working on. But on top of that, like you guys been dragging me in the comments. Like you dropped out of college. You're so stupid. You're so dumb. Why would you make that impulsive decision? That is dumb. Oh, Yandy already kicked you out. Or Yandy already, you know, you live back with your grandmother now. And now you're just going down the wrong path. We knew this would happen. Like, you, you're not, you not going to be anything. You're not going to be anyone. You're not going to be anybody. All you had was Yandy. Your life is over now. And um, I'm like, I got to stop reading these comments. Because if you're not mentally strong enough to, you know, fight through those comments and really be able to understand, like, okay, I'm just reading this. This doesn't mean anything because these people don't know me. You know, then you'll really be hurt. And for me, like, when I first moved in with Yandy, I never really processed. Like, I never really had a moment to process everything and really sit down and intake everything. It just happened. Like, boom, you know. And I say that to say that I never got to adjust like really adjust to being a delight and knowing that people are gonna now because she's a public figure people are gonna naturally you know have something to say and I never really you know I never was really used to that before I was posting and nobody would really care about what I posted and now it's like I'm posting and it's like so many different eyes so many different blogs so many different social medias and it's a lot it's definitely a lot but in due time you kind of get accustomed to it not everybody's okay with being in the public eye I mean I'm fine with it it doesn't really you know it doesn't it doesn't like you know it's i feel like it's regular now i've kind of it it has definitely grown on me and i've adapted to it but what i really want to say today in this video is that i didn't drop out of college i thought about it you know i was considering it for a minute and then i was like i'm not doing that I'm not doing that and let me tell you why I didn't do it I didn't do it because I felt as if I worked so hard to get into the college I got into I go to one of the top I don't want to say the names but I go to a matter of fact I'll just say it I go to one of the top CUNYs in New York City so I was really appreciative of getting into my college but also I felt like I worked I really worked my I got into all of those colleges I got into tons of colleges I got a bunch of scholarships, I got a bunch of money, and um, I work for that. So I'm not gonna sit there and let, you know, all of that hard work go down the drain, right? I really wanted to be a full-time YouTuber because I thought that like, okay, maybe I need to commit myself fully to this, to be able to put out the best content, to be able to, you know, be my best self behind the camera and in front of the camera. Like, that's what I was thinking. I'm glad that I actually, you know, sat down and I actually thought about it and talked to some people around me. It was able to tell me like, yo, like, you didn't come this far to like, you know, just give up. If all fails, I'll have my college degree to rely on right? right now I'm currently going to college majoring in business management with a minor in communications I'm thinking about doing a double major in marketing too I'm not really sure yet but this upcoming today is August 4th which is Wednesday I start school August 25th or whatever and I'll be officially a sophomore in college this is gonna be my second year in college I think I did my damn thing like I did the damn thing like I did so well let me see let me try to pull up my grades real quick so for where is it so for this previous semester that just passed I had a 3.8 GPA like who you know who you know like for all y'all that was you ain't gonna be nobody like i was saying who you know like who 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 you know like you i'm oh you a college dropout you ain't gonna be nothing you back with your grandmother you back struggling ah, 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 ah. baby calm that down because i've been smart forever will be smart and i think it's time that i actually show you how smart i am like let me i think it's time that i show people before this all i had was my education and before like being taken in by andy and i still have my education i'm still gonna be smart i'm still an amazing young lady like and I'm still going to grow into being that phenomenal woman that I aspire to be. And most importantly, I just think that it's so whack how people be in the comments going crazy. And it's like, you don't really know how these comments affect people's mental. My mental has been all over the place. From what these love and hip-hop scenes to YouTube, dealing with the, the backlash of me 
dropping out of college, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And you know, sometimes I be I, I have to really just like read the comments and not really put thought into it because if I don't know y'all personal, why am I taking it personal? You get what I'm saying? Like that's how I really start. I'm starting to feel. I'm glad that I'm actually starting to look at it from that perspective. But let me put y'all on real quick, cause who you know, who you know. I had a 3.8 GPA, but I want to see. I'm looking for the screenshot where I'm looking for the screenshot with like the grade specifically. Where is it? Okay, so that screenshot. So the first screenshot I showed y'all was from first semester, and I, that was a 3.8. The second screenshot, which is this screenshot from 2021 spring term, the spring term that just passed, when I told y'all I wasn't going to enroll back in, I never got out. I thought about it, didn't do it. Blase, blase. Now we're here, and I ended with a 3.3 GPA. Who you know? Stop playing with me. Who you know? Dumb where? Never been. Ever. Like, come on. But, like, who you know? Stop playing with me. Respectfully, stop playing with me. I had humanities, which I ended up with an A plus in. I had, you know, freshman seminar. That's like advisory. You get a pass or a third grade, and I just passed. Then I had foundations of speech communications. I had a B minus in that. Speech was I. I, I, I like to lie, I was expecting an A, but she gave me a B. So that was cool. And then I had theater, which I got a B in. I'll take that. And then I had history, which I had an A minus in. But y'all steady the ones in the comments. Oh, you so stupid. You dumb. You dropped out of college. And like, shout out to the supporters in the comments that was educating me and directing me, you know, and to everybody that was leaving negativity on that post. You, you whack, you corny. Like, you don't you don't gain nothing by tearing the next person down. Like, I'm a teenager. I'm going to make tons of, tons of mistakes. And I'm going to not make the best decisions. But I think it's important that if I'm putting content, you know, feel as if, yo, maybe that's not the best thing for you. You should educate me and want to give me reasoning behind these decisions. But for those who bash me for a decision that I thought I was going to make you know that's suckish and I hope that you don't do that to the next person because you just never know how it affects a person mental mentally and for me I've been I, I'm, I'm I'm getting back there I'm slowly fighting up myself to get back mentally there I feel like the the way I'm at in my life it's like a huge disconnect with a lot of people but I'm trust I really trust that God has a reason and behind everything he's doing for me like literally I feel like I'm disconnected from a lot of relationships friendship a lot of things right now i'm just really trusting the process like that's where i'm at in my life i'm not questioning anything anymore because everything happens for a reason and when i'm ready to talk on anything i've been going through i'm going to talk on that at my own terms but i'm not going to talk on that because the world wants answers or because they feel like you know i owe them something i'm just like nah that's not really how it works but most importantly i really wanted to do this video to show y'all that like who y'all think i am is not who i am like you're stupid you're this i was reading those comments like damn that's hurtful like that's really hurtful because I have worked so hard in college. I finished my college, I think, with a 3.8 overall. It was a lot of work. It was different. It was hard going virtual. I've been living with my grandmother for the past, what, like two years now? This is what, back two and a half years? Two years? I've been living with my grandmother for going on two years now. Um, it has not been easy, you know, being here and going virtual, getting up every day. Like, I have to literally find the motivation to say, you know what? You got to get up. You got to get it done. Like, there's been a lot of times where I'm just like, I can't do this. Like, I, I, don't, I don't have the mental capacity. I'm proud of myself for sticking it through, finding the good in it. Cause I always said to myself like, yo, if all fails, I got my education. That's all that matters to me. If all fails, I got my education. But this video is really to say, you have to really watch and, you know, be cautious of the things you, you put out, what you comment on other people's, you know, videos, because you just never know what somebody's going through mentally and how it could affect them. You know, what if what y'all said about me made me feel like, oh, maybe I am dumb. Maybe I am not smart. And I sunk in that, you know, you just don't never know how a person could, you know, what their intake is. You don't never know how much a person could bear with. Because something that I can handle, the next person may not handle. But I really want y'all to know, like, be cautious and be conscious of what you put out. Because it don't, it, don't take, it don't take nothing from you to give somebody else a compliment. It don't take nothing from you to educate somebody. But it takes a lot from you to, you know, put out negativity. To put out positivity, you know, you only gonna get positive back. That, that's exactly how it works. But I've been wanting to do this video for a minute. And I wasn't ready to. I'm just like, I'll do it when I'm ready. You know, I'll get there. And now that I'm here, I'm just like, I'm proud of myself. Like, I really finished my freshman year with a 3.8 GPA. Who you know, like for real though, who you know, like who you know, like you don't know, like who you know. But shout out to all my teenagers that's out there and killing the game, like all my college freshmen. Yo, I, yo, class of 2020, we took a huge L, like our first year 
of college was virtual like son, yo we went through something that nobody ever had to go through like that was crazy but we pushed through we persevered and we did that the job is done it's complete that's all that matters like and it's on to the next steps you know in your life and that brings me to the idea that i was thinking like this morning i woke up and i'm just like a lot of things be happening in our life and we like i don't want that to happen that's not what i want to happen and then it happened and then now i'm looking back like damn i needed that to happen like that was meant to happen. I want y'all to stop questioning all the things that you're experiencing because everything you are experiencing was meant to happen for you because your life was created before you. You hear me? Everything that is happening to you was meant to happen for you because your life was created before you. Before we even landed on this earth, God already had his plans. God already knew what he wanted to do with you, right? So now you see how I'm in the driver's seat? I no longer want to be in the driver's seat. I'm surrendering myself. My spiritual journey that I'm going through right now, y'all, I'm so proud of myself because I no longer want to drive. God is telling me, yo, get over to the passenger side because when I had you here and you was driving, you wasn't doing what you were supposed to be doing. And now it's time for you to switch over to the passenger seat and let me steer. And don't question it. I have to stop questioning everything. Like, it's not meant for you to question everything. Some things just happen to you for a reason. Don't question it. Take it and understand that there's definitely a lesson in it. There's nothing that we go through in life that doesn't have a lesson in it. And now that I'm in college and I'm really like, my first year's under my belt and I'm about to be on my second year of college, I'm ready. Like, I'm, I can't wait to start school. I can't wait to crush because mentally, I'm just in a better state. Like mentally, I'm I'm working on myself. Um, I feel much better. Like you know, I, I definitely just feel like I'm ready for my sophomore year. Because before, I'm like I'm, I've never been through a pandemic. You know, my freshman, I don't know how to deal with that. But now I feel like I'm ready for it. I'm just at a place in life where I'm just no longer questioning anything that is happening to me. I don't care about anything anymore. Like I, I don't care for questioning anything anymore. I don't want to question it because I feel like when I question it, I question my faith. And it's like I'm questioning God. And it's okay to question God, but I don't want to question him no more because I've questioned him for so long and I always end up doing what I want to do and not what he wants me to do and then end up hurting the end. And I don't want to I don't want to experience that anymore. No That's not what I want to deal with. But yeah, I don't really want to question God, you know, plan for me anymore at all. I'm going to trust him. I want to trust that he has a way and this is his way and this is what he wants for me. And you got to take the good with the bad. I did my thing my first year of college. When I say it was a, it was a, it was a struggle. My grandmother used to come in the room like, you know, you got to get up. And I'm just like, yo, I can't. I, I, like, I don't have the mental capacity. I can't today. I don't really, I don't even want to look at, like, I don't even have no friends in school. Like, all of this, I'm learning virtual. Like, is this really real? And then there's some days I get up and I'm just like, the life that I live right now, this is, I'm not comfortable with it. This is not what I want. Like, I got to fight, I got to fight through this. Like, this is not what I want. This is not comfortable. This is not where I want to be. One of the things that I got to rely on is my education. All fails, I got my education and nobody can take your smarts away from you. Nobody. When I walk down that aisle with my credentials, I'm gonna be like, who you know? Like, who you know, baby? Who you know? Like, first of my family to graduate from college? What? What? Who you know? Like, yo, that is gonna be one of my biggest accomplishments, y'all. Like, bro talk. But this video was really long overdue, and I really just wanted to get this out. If you proud of me, and you a real supporter, through the good, the bad, and the ugly, and you gonna educate me and not deter me, continue to tune in, continue to like my videos, continue to subscribe, continue to comment. I want y'all to flood the comments with nothing but positivity like that's all i need right now that's all i want about like strictly positivity that's it nothing more other than that if y'all rock with me and y'all believe in me y'all think i'm gonna be something great and y'all wanna watch me flourish into this amazing young woman that i'm about to be keep tuning in with me and show your support the best way you know how to and to the people that want to keep the tear on me I hope that you find happiness and peace in yourself to know that it takes a lot to deter the next person than it does to just big somebody up. And guess what? I'm out, y'all.